All right. We're doing 24 days of matcha. Oh, goodness. And we have to find the numbers here. I think we're on day eight. No, day eight. It is lavender honey matcha. I want a little plastic baggie again. Slightly smaller mug this time around. So apparently this is 16. They really are just very random with the amount that they put in these, as best I can tell. Um, I think I'm going to go with 6 grams for this cup. grams. Oh, ooh. it's lavender, but <coughs> in that overly strong old lady perfume way, not in like the light, pleasant way. I was actually really hoping I was going to like this one, but um, not so sure about that now. Tuck that in. And I'm doing 165 for the water because I found that their recommendation of 185 just made things too bitter. We're at 160. We got five more degrees to go. Uh, my partner glued my whiskey thingy back together, which is why we're back to a mug. Um, also, I haven't washed the chuan yet. So the matcha bowl's in the washer machine. Hopefully I'll run it tonight and then I'll have that for tomorrow. All right, so we're going to do the half full, whisk it, add the rest of the water, leave a little bit room for milk. I have a feeling I'm going to have to hide this one under milk. All right, give it a little stir just to get it off the bottom and then whisk. Whisk. I start at the bottom and work my way to the top and then hold it just under the surface and then I go back down again trying to get the nice froth going which you can get a nice froth with this or manually it's easier once you add milk though okay All right, once you've added the water, it's lavender, but less of that old lady, overly perfumed. Much better. All right, let's finish adding the rest of the water. This is a nice drab color. Grab a quick shot of the color for the Twitter thread. All right, luckily the taste is fine. <clears throat> little sweet, little floral, no bitterness. 165 is definitely the way to go. I think next time I want to do eight grams instead of six grams though. All right, like that one too.